hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's DIY I'll show you how to make this beautiful mirror using mostly Dollar Tree items so if you like what you see and would like to learn how then please keep watching now on to the DIY here are most of the items that I'll be using in this DIY you'll find a complete list in the description box below first thing we're going to do is take the mirror apart and then use some type of strong adhesive to glue it back together. As you can see, I'm using E6000. Now I'm going to use some hot glue to seal the back panel in place. Now I'm going to put that aside and cut a 14 inch circle from my foam board. I have a couple of lampshades that measure 14 inches. And as you can see, I'm tracing one of them to get the circle that I need for the back part of my mirror. I'm using one of the Dollar Tree X-Acto knives to cut the circle from the foam board. Now I'm going to take the mirror and glue it in the very center of the foam board. And again, I'll be using the E6000 because I want a permanent hold. Once you place the mirror in the center, Secure it down with some tape. Then put it aside to dry. When the glue dries, go ahead and remove the tape. Now I'll arrange the blocks around the mirror and then I'll glue them down. As you can see, it's a very simple pattern. Lay one down flat, then turn the next one on the side the next one flat, then the next one on the side, and so on all the way around. Now I'm going to use my E6000 to attach each block to the mirror frame and the foam board. Once you're done with the first set of blocks, you'll have something that looks like this. Now it's time to add the second set of blocks. And as you can see, I'll be adding the block to each flat block all the way around. I'll be adding glue to the very end of the first block and at the end of the foam board. Then I'm going to add some hot glue to hold the block in place while the E6000 sets up. Repeat these steps until the second row of blocks are glued down. Once you've completed the second row of blocks, you'll have something that looks like this. To secure the second row of blocks more, I added some hot glue right underneath each one of these blocks. As you can see, I've already started on my third row of blocks. And it's a simple step as well. You just simply glue a block in each open space all the way around. I'm going to complete this off camera. Then I'll come back and let you see what it looks like when it's completely dry. Now that my mirror is completely dry, I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it silver, making sure to get all the outside parts of my blocks and the tops and crevices as well. As you can see, the mirror is really coming together. I sprayed two coats of my silver spray paint on the frame. I let the first coat dry and then came back with a second coat. When the paint is completely dry, take a soft towel or a tissue and wipe off the overspray. Now I'm going to mix a Mod Podge along with glitter to seal the paint in place and to add more bling. I'm going to brush the mixture onto the blocks as well as the circular frame around the mirror. Now 
Now here's what the mirror looks like when it's completely coated with the mixture. I'm going to set this aside to dry, come back and go on with the DIY. The Mod Podge and glitter mixture is now completely dry. It has been about three hours because I really want it to thoroughly dry. All right, so now what I'm going to do is add my little acrylic pieces and I'm going to use my hot glue to glue them onto the frame. Now it's going to take about two of these pieces and I'm just going to put them right here. First I'm going to line them up and see how I want them and then just add a little bit of glue. And glue it down. Just like that. And as you can see, using a hot glue gun, I'll end up with more glue webs that I have to clean up later, but that's no big deal. So I'm going to continue this all the way around. And when I'm done, I'll come back and move on to the next step. So here's what it looks like with all the acrylic pieces put in place. So the next thing I'm going to do is add the silver beads around the perimeter of this round frame, this inner frame, like that. And I'm going to use some fix-all along with my hot glue to add that on there. Now I'm using both glues because I just I really want this to be permanent. So I'm going to start out with a bead of glue, hot glue. And just press it down in place. And a little bit more glue. So now this done, and this is what it looks like. For the next step, I'm going to add some bling here, here, and here, all the way around. So let me get the pieces cut and we'll get started. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and add some bling to my wooden pieces. And here I'm using the three strand bling, but these pieces here only takes two, so what you would do is just measure and then cut like that and then you would take one off so then you would have two strands and that would go here now for the wider ones these will take three strands so it's the same measurement so what you do is just same thing measure and cut I've done that ahead of time and here I have all the two strands that will go here I'll let you see what that looks like. I'm going to be using some more of the Fix All to glue these down because I don't want to put hot glue in the background because it will clump up sometimes and dull the bling out so I won't be using that. And I also have a lighter. Some of these have some uh, long thread strands on here so what I want to do is just run that across there and take that off like that. So. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing these down all the way around, and I have a popsicle stick to help me spread the fix all out. And because it's so much to be covered, I'm gonna be wearing my mask. This is what it looks like so far. So now I add some bling to these pieces. Spread some glue, make sure you get all those corners.
All right, just like that. So I'm gonna let this dry for about 10 minutes. Come back, flip this over, and attach the back, and I'll let you guys see how this done. And then I'll remove the tape, clean the mirror, and let you see what it looks like. As you can see, I've removed the paper and the tape. The tape removed some of the paint near the mirror, so I've decided to add more beads right inside of the frame. And again, I'll be using more Fix-All and hot glue to attach the beads. This is what the mirror looks like with the beads around the center. All right, so meanwhile, I wanna go ahead and put a hook on the back so I can hang it on the wall. I purchased this picture hanging kit from Family Dollar. I'm going to use my E6000 along with some hot glue to attach it here. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a few hours. Come back, clean the mirror. Put it on the wall and let you guys see what it looks like. And here's my finished mirror. I'm really impressed with how it turned out. My son-in-law says it looks like it could be purchased from Pier 1. Now, I take that as a great compliment considering it cost me around $11 in Dollar Tree items. Minus the other items that I already had on hand. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to make a second one and put them in my bedroom. Now on to the mystery box winner. This was not an easy choice because I have so many subscribers that turn on their post notifications and comment every video. So I narrowed down the list and randomly chose a winner. And that winner is Rita Powell. Rita, thank you so much for all that you do. You are truly appreciated. Please comment your email address below so that I can contact you. And for those of you who are interested in seeing what went into the mystery box, stay tuned for that video. This concludes my video for today. And if you enjoyed it, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe now. It's absolutely free. And remember, why buy it when you can DIY it? I'll be back with more videos.